this demonstration, we'll take a look at how to use FTK Imager to view file headers on files. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the image that I've already captured of the suspect's USB drive. I'm going to add that to FTK Imager for analysis. So I choose the file menu, add evidence item. Then I choose the type of evidence item, in this case, which is an image file, and then choose next. I'm going to browse and grab the flash drive image and then hit finish. Then I'm going to expand out over on the left here our USB drive and select the root folder where I've got a couple files in here. And you can see that there are some deleted files. We can also see there's this file called newcompanylocation.dat. Now when I select that file, one of the things that I want you to notice is it is able to um, preview the file. So I can see that it is some form of graphic. And the reason why I'm able to do that, even though it's a .dat file instead of a JPEG, is because you know suspects aren't tricking the forensic software because the forensic software doesn't really look at that file extension to determine that this is a graphic file. What it does is it looks at the file header. Now, in order to see the file header, we want to, up top here, switch to our hex view. When I go and switch to the hex view, notice that down bottom, we can see all the hexadecimal data um, that makes up the file itself. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is that we do have, in the file header, the, the starting hex values are FFD8FFE0, which is the hex values that indicate that this is a graphic file, so a JPEG file. In this demonstration, we saw how to look at the file header using FTK Imager. 